It was Michael Faraday who discovered this fundamental of electromotive force, a 200-year-old formula that can power just about anything in the modern world. Right, you've lined up some day today, boy. I'll gear that. We have got a load of electric vehicles. Some of them are a prototype and some of them are already out there. We're just gonna have a go and get a bit of a feel, whether it's a digger, a bus, a push bike, a van or a car. Lovely day for it as well. Right, I'm not gonna go out, so I'll have a tick going down here. Are you ready? Let's get cracking. What are we gonna go in first? I was never cool enough to go on the back seat. This is the Equipmake E-Bus. Designed by a former Formula One engineer, its motor has few moving parts, so it's easier to maintain than a diesel. A bit tight, this one, boys. A bit tight, a bit tight. Oh! Use all the curb by paid me entry fee. It's all there for using. We're not messing about, boys. This is the fastest bus in the world. Yeah, take the limiter off. It will do 100 miles an hour, but they knew I was going to be driving it. So they've left the limiter on. Rightly so, I'll tell you, because it'd be over that bank upside down in that field. <laughs> like all electric vehicles, the e-bus has no tailpipe emissions. A recent study suggested swapping diesel buses for electric ones in a city like York would save five million pounds in health costs in the first year alone. I'd much rather walk through a city centre with electric buses rather than diesel buses. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Fantastic. Yeah, but we murdered it and it survived. Without one issue, the brakes didn't fade. That was a cone we got. Oh, look, where's the battery? It's still saying it's next door to full, 90%. So if I'm murdering it, that's going to last a lifetime, isn't it? That's going to last a lifetime. So electric can handle mass transportation. But what about something more specialised? This is a 116,000 pound electric Porsche. Now, I've got to get this right. The Porsche man did say you need to say the name right. He says, oh, it's a Porsche Taycan. Not in Lincolnshire, mate. It has 680 horsepower and a 160 miles per hour top speed. The range is 240 miles. Mm -hmm. That's what they're saying. Eh, we'll see, we'll see. Not with a dickhead like me behind the wheel, but I can tell you. All it takes to understand this car... We're all right, we go. ...is one firm press of the pedal. Equivalent. A Taycan should go at least twice as far for every pound spent on fuel. I'm blown away. What a piece of kit.